Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating, no doubt. Um, we just could not get anything going offensively. A um, bunch of strikeouts. They pitch really, really well. Like to think that we can have some better at bats, but this two game series, you saw about as good a pitching as you're going to see. Um, and on the other side, I'll speak for our club. We're, we're capable of more. We just couldn't couldn't get it going. Is there anything you saw collectively from the group as far as what led to this? I mean, offensive performance the last couple of days. I saw guys trying to do too much. I think so. There, there was just too much. Uh, you know, we were looking for the, the I felt the three run homer with nobody on base. And when you take that mindset against good pitchers, they can kind of um, sit you down. Seems like a million years ago, but what did you see with Fairbanks there when he came out again? Yeah, uh, he lost a um, feeling in his fingertips. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't know. I mean, his velo was way down from the beginning. I think from pitch one, he was probably five clicks down. Kyle went out there, checked on him. Um, there was reason to be concerned right away. For a guy that sits 99 to 100 miles an hour, he's throwing 94, 95, somewhat telling. And then Adam came in and just, what was that moment like? <laughs> that was him? unbelievable. Uh, highlight of the day for us, I mean, for him to get through that, uh, I would have lost a lot of money if I would have thought we were going to get through that inning not scoring a run, uh, with them not scoring a run. So big pitches to right in the middle of their order. Um, and it kept us right there. It gave us every opportunity offensively. We just couldn't do it. Last pitching question. Uh, what did you see out of Glass now today? I thought Glass was awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to having him get a normal off season and then pitching him opening series. Uh, we see a lot of the rallies or things that didn't work out for you. Marco called first base. And Chris seemed pretty confident. That yeah. Were- uh, look, I didn't see it. I, I mean, uh, yeah. Pre did feel like he had kind of come off, but that's you're in the moment. You're, you're uh, I have to go back and look at it. I mean, it's a very tough call one way or the other. I mean, you're talking about a guy's spike touching the bag or not. Uh, I didn't see anything on the jumbotron that was clear to be overturned. And water, like he maybe had the deep going and then didn't. didn't kind yeah, of he did everything it. right. Uh, and then when Jimenez threw the ball, rather than just beeline straight to second base, he kind of hung out there and didn't get there. Probably the best opportunity was the first and third there with Bruhan at third. Just need to get the ball. Yeah, got to, got, to, got to move the baseball. I mean, 18, 19 strikeouts, whatever it was. I mean, that's telling that we just weren't able to do that. I know it's been like five minutes, but you mentioned Glass now having a normal offseason. When you look at like the core group of guys that you do have moving into the offseason and moving forward, I mean, just what's your optimism level, I guess, with this group as a, a whole? A lot. Very strong optimism level. Um, proud of the way the guys went about the season, no doubt. Just said that, thanked them. Uh, want them to have good off seasons and come back and, and be a we, – we've got a strong group of guys. Uh, we've got to do some things better. We've got to avoid some injuries throughout the course of the season. Help us a little bit, but uh, very encouraged uh, the way the guys went about their business and their effort all season long. And as the game like that progresses – you get out of the bottom of an inning, is it kind of a thing like, okay, now? <laughs> yeah, we said that a lot. Not, all right, now. We're, we're going to do it now. It just wasn't meant to be for us today. Yeah, I mean, look, when you're in a 0 0 ball game and you feel like you're getting closer, they're all frustrating, equally frustrating. No one sticks out than the other. Um, uh, so, yeah, frustrating is a good word. Curious, uh, the way you use some of the pitchers, Rass could have given you, it seemed, maybe a longer period. What was the thought process? Keep it well, at that point, it was um, still relatively matchup based game. I think we took him out from Naylor and brought in Clevenger. Yeah, so playing matchups at that point. Um, and, you know, there till the end, until we handed the ball to Kluber. Kluber was going to, you know, try to get through a time through the lineup. And then, then you go to Beaks. I mean, I sent Beaks. Uh, Springsy down there, I don't know, in the eighth inning, I think, something like that. So felt good with all the matchups. I mean, how can you not? We, we didn't give up any runs. Meeks was okay. He just warmed up and then just sat down for a while. Totally fine, yeah. He was yeah. just going to be at the back end. Once we got to that part of the lineup, yes. Feel for Kluber? Just yeah, that stinks. stinks. I mean, look, we're asking a guy that's put together a tremendous season for us, uh, came back, proved to the baseball that he's healthy, Um did it at a ballpark that he's had some great experiences in um, and pitched really, really well. We just left a pitch that Gonzalez got. 
and you know asked him to do something that he I don't think had ever done. Okay. It felt like it. I, I believe me. I was sitting there thinking about it once we got to the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth. It was crossing my mind, like, how many games, postseason games, have you seen like this before? So it was. All right. Well. Good. Okay. Yep.